determination, persistence, and fearlessness fuel the spirit of innovation. On behalf of Intel, I am happy to announce that the winner of the XTC 2021 Female Founder Award is the Live Green Company. This company is building a proprietary technology platform, Charaka, to replace not only the animal, but also the synthetic and ultra-processed ingredients in our food with 100% natural, functional, and sustainable plant alternatives. The Live Green Company is reimagining in great scale our food on the shelves of supermarkets to disrupt the way the world eats. Congratulations to the Live Green Company. And now, enjoy the pitch. Hi, I'm Priyanka, the founder at the Live Green Company. We all know our world is in a race against time. By 2050, we have 10 billion mouths to feed with limited resources. The last decade was removing the animal from our foods, but now it's about removing the synthetic and ultra-processed additives because 67% of our diets today, including the plant-based ones, have these. We should also look at product life cycles in a more sustainable and holistic manner and disrupt the industry at scale by overcoming industry barriers of high capital and time. So at the Live Green Co, we are building Charaka, a technology platform that blends ancestral wisdom of plant nutrition with biotechnology and machine learning. And it helps us reimagine every food item in the supermarket aisle using technology at scale by using the 450,000 plants that nature has to offer. Using Charaka's databases of 15,000 plants and half a million compounds, we successfully replaced the additives, the milk and eggs in ice creams and launched the world's cleanest ice creams in just 90 days with 15,000 US dollars spent. They are delicious. We want to be large scale change agents by collaborating and not competing. And we license our product formulations to retailers and food manufacturers globally. And we ask for a Powered by Charaka seal on the back of their packages. This is a 180 billion US dollar opportunity, which focuses on flexitarians, which is 42% of the world's population. We have done an external validation of our technology with Sigma Alimentos, the biggest food manufacturer of Mexico. We also proved the commercial viability of Charaka by launching product lines in Chile, our test market. We have grown 8x and we have a client pipeline of 10 million US dollars with extreme high capital efficiencies. And all this is because of our globally successful team of scientists, engineers, and hustlers. I am a master's in retail. My co-founder Sasikant is an honors engineer. We are united by the vision to disrupt the way the world consumes. So let's live green and let's start now. Thank you. Welcome back um, and nice presentation, Priyanka. Welcome. Thank you so much. Great. Let's go to Bill for the first question. Yeah, uh, Priyanka, I can't wait to try your products. I, I try only ice cream and things like, you know, in uh, alternative things. You guys uh, are, I guess, an AI engine to, to try, you know, uh, combinations of all those different things. How scalable is what you do in terms of uh, when you work with other brands, um, how rapidly can you develop things for them? Is it custom or is it easily repeatable? And when do you think you'll start to expand into some very large consumer markets uh, as opposed to the ones that you're in today? Sure. Uh, thank you for the question, Bill. Uh, with respect to as we started as a bootstrapping company and then raised our seed round, we wanted to be very sensitive about the data that we approach and the products that we launch in the market. And that's the reason why we went segment by segment. We started with alternative protein when we were doing a pilot with the biggest manufacturer in Mexico. Then we wanted to enter the alternative dairy, and that's why we launched the ice cream. And as we move in our uh, funding uh, journey, as well as we expand uh, uh, Charaka's database, we can go into different uh, consumer products. And with respect to the business model, as we do not want to build our own brand as a CPG brand, we see at any point of time, we can work with multiple partners. Say we could work with a Coca-Cola on a different product line. We could work with, say, a Target on a different product line. And that's the way we uh, scale and grow. Thank you. And uh, one other thing I would like to add on is other than food, Charaka as a technology over a period of time could also be scaled to consumer pro products like beauty, cosmetics, and home cleaning as well. But at this point of time, our focus is only food. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, over to you, Michael. 
Hi, uh, congratulations uh, for uh, winning your category and it's really exciting what you're doing. I uh, understand that you're basically proposing to replace certain ingredients with more natural ingredients. And I'm wondering if there is a trade-off involved in that too. In other words, is it more expensive to use the natural uh, ingredients that you recommend? And how do you think about manufacturers pricing or uh, passing on this incremental cost to consumers? So that's a great question, Michael. When we deal with natural ingredients and alternatives, yes, pricing is always a challenge. And also procuring ingredients at scale is a challenge. And that's the reason why at Live Green Co, we are very, very conscious that the partners that we have today have been extremely open that there are specific categories, categories where consumers are open to pay a price premium. And also the manufacturers and the retailers are ready to pay a price premium because consumers are demanding for cleaner products. And they are categories that are more cost, uh, I would say, uh, uh, sensitive. And that's, those are the categories that we want to go in later. With respect to procuring at a, at a reasonable cost, which is profitable, we are the, looking for partnerships with ingredient companies that can help us with large scale pro procurement and thereby help with cost reduction. And that is something that we are already doing. In our pilot that we did with a big manufacturer, the cost of the alternative that Livreen Co provided using Charaka was 20 cents higher. Uh, it did not seem as much for a startup, but we understand it is a different call when it comes to the food manufacturer and they were open because of the product that we were tackling. But over a period of time, we do see that we should be able to achieve a good cost optimization. And then uh, your own business model, uh, how do you uh, get uh, compensated? Uh, does the manufacturer of the product pay you basically a license fee to have access to the database and the recommendations and maybe some of the supply chain insights? Or uh, how does the your customer get value from your service? Sure. So with respect to the value of our service, we provide them uh, a formulation. And in the formulation, we sell them a black box, which is the nucleus to the formulation. So think of, say, we are selling an alternative milk uh, substitute. We will sell them a black box. And like Coca-Cola makes a premium of the ingredient, we make a premium on selling that black box. Other than that, we do have a licensing fee where we get royalty on every unit sold. And this is a deal that we already closed with one of our manufacturers in Mexico. Thank you, Priyanka. It's very, Thank you so very much. good. Thank you, Priyanka. Congratulations, Priyanka from the Live Green Co. Thank you very much, Victoria. Have a great day, everyone.